here and we are back to kicking butt together first workout in the 30s so it is going to be so much fun we have super set workouts every exercise will be 45 seconds on 15 seconds rest during those 15 seconds i'll tell you exactly what the next movement is so i will be using a lighter pair of dumbbells today i only have a pair of eight pounds so you guys are going to go at your own pace we're going to be using them for stuff like protein and jump back work all that jazz for the rear delts and stuff so let's go at your own pace and let's get warmed up and yeah all right guys let's start out with bouncing it out and then adding some punches in so side to side bounce it out keep that core nice and strong welcome back welcome back to all of us this is exciting three two one and take that booty remember to bring the knees in front slightly Take the booty behind you. 30, 2, 1, feet out wide, arms out into that T. We're going to reach across the body, tap it, and then open up that chest, squeeze the back. Reach, and you don't have to touch the toes if that is too much for you. If it's too far away, if you're not that flexible yet, that's okay. Everyone's at a different point in their fitness journey. So, go at your own pace. Let's go one more on your side. And up, last one. And nice job. Go ahead, bring those feet together a little bit. You're gonna sink down and go side to side. Think about pressing that weight midfoot to heel and not in those toes. Let's go three, two, one. And go ahead, bounce it out. We're gonna go right to some jumping jacks. Touch the hands at the top. down into a plank position and from here press back and then as you come forward drive a knee in press back drive knee in so we're getting those shoulders and we're getting the core especially the quads are getting a little bit of love too as well as the hamstrings as we stretch those out when we press back in the down dog sink back bring it forward Keep it up, guys. So two more, one on each side. Last one. And nice job. From here, go ahead and bring it into a side plank and alternate. Really think about pressing through that hand so we're not collapsing in that shoulder at all. So you want nice, strong stance. Keep rocking it, guys. And we're staggering the feet is going to make it easier rather than stacking the feet. So you do you, boo. Let's go one more on each side. Last one. And go ahead, come down. We're going to warm up the wrist a little bit. So a few wrist circles here. And then go the other way. Warming up your wrist is super, super important to avoid any wrist pain, especially in stuff like plank movements, burpees, all that jazz. And let's go ahead, have your hands out like this. And you're gonna go side to side. So the closer your hands are, the more intense it's gonna be. If you need to, you can always widen out your hands to make it a little bit less intense, a little bit nicer for you. Three, two, one, and let's level them around like this. Keep your arms straight and then lean back. If that's too much, you can always Go like this instead, just make sure your arm is nice and straight. Take these warm-ups and these stretches with you, especially if you have a desk job and you need to sit a lot and type and all that, if you're an artist, whatever it is. And then go ahead, hands together, elbows together, a few circles here, and then stand on up. Three, two, one. And now we're going to alternate back lunge and kick. Back lunge and kick. Keep your back nice and flat. Make sure your knee doesn't collapse in. We don't want to collapse our arches in our feet. That can cause knee issues, hip issues, all that jazz. So we want to try to avoid that. And have the correct biomechanics. Fancy. <laughs> Let's go do more. One on each side. Last one. And go ahead. Shaky, shaky. <laughs> All right, let's 
go with some skaters. Side to side. Try to hover that back foot if you can, but if that's too much, no big deal. You can always tap it. Keep going, guys. Last one before we get into that workout. Let's go for four, three, two, one, and let's get started. All right, guys, so first movement, we're gonna have a burpee with four switch lunges. So you're gonna come down, come up and jump, four switch lunges, and you can walk out the lunges just like we did in the warm-up. You can also walk out the burpee if you need to. All right, let's go. So, remember this is a superset workout. So we're gonna have the first move, another move, and then we'll repeat one more time. So remember to pace yourself, but also challenge yourself. Try to get that chest to floor if your body allows. Three, four, yes. Woo, all the way up and jump. Finish that, guys. 10 seconds. And up. Four, three, two, one. All right, so next movement. Push up to side plank knee crunch. So what you're gonna do is come into tricep push-up position. Push up, go into that side plank, just like we did in the warm-up, and crunch, switch. Let's go. Take your time, it's not a rush. And up, pew. We are getting chest, shoulders, obliques especially which are those side ab muscles who doesn't love working those <laughs> finish it out come to the knees if you need to for those push-ups you can always come here just make sure your hips are forward Woo. three two all right we have that burpee burpee forces lunges so remember for push-ups you're not here if you come to the knees. Push your hips forward like this so that way you can activate the core too. Get ready. Three, two, let's go. Down, up. Don't forget to jump at the top. <laughs> Why not? Keep it going. Remember, keep on pacing yourself. Going on your own level of difficulty. Three, four. Nice job, guys. Down, up, and jump. Two, three, four. Ten seconds. Up, and jump. Four, three, two. Oh, okay. We have that push-up. Side plank knee crunch. Whew. This is fun. It's always fun to see like how it is coming back to everything. <laughs> okay, let's go. Up. And crunch. Core strong. Remember, we don't want to chicken out our neck when we do those push-ups. Look a little bit ahead of you. Keeping it. Nice and neutral in the spine. Woo. Keep it going. We're strong. We're strong. Keep getting stronger with every rep. Let's go. We're here to challenge ourselves. Done. Okay. Next up is back to cardio, forward and backward hidings. If you don't have room to move forward and backward, just go into place. Just have on your high knees forward and high knees back. Okay, let's go. Pump those arms. Let's go. Yeah. I mean, because regular high knees isn't tough enough, so. We're 
motivate ourselves. Keep it going. Pump those arms. Drive those knees up a little bit more. Ten seconds. Oh, I have to burp. This is like the worst move to have to burp. one dumbbell. So from here, face forward, you have a curtsy to low lunge, drive your knee, and twist. All right, so curtsy, low lunge, knee up, and twist. Same leg. Now, when you go to curtsy to low lunge, notice how I'm not coming up all the way. And twist. So you're getting the quads, the glutes, and we're also getting that core as we twist. We're working stability as we stabilize on that one foot. Remember, this is a video. If you need to rewind for a few seconds, that's okay. We're learning new ways to move our bodies, new ways to challenge ourselves. Three, two, okay, high knees. Forward and back. Remember which leg that you just worked. Oh my goodness. Woo. All right, get ready. Three, two, let's go. Woo. Pump those arms, drag those knees up. That makes so much more difference. So it's like, what if we took all that time that we used beating ourselves up, making ourselves feel bad, we put it into instead encouraging ourselves like we do our friends and our family. We would be so powerful and strong. Three, two, one. Don't dim down your potential. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, frog hops forward. Toes facing out. If you don't have room forward, just jump straight up. Ch um, chest up. And then turn. Right, let's go. So make sure toes are out. And turn. Back is flat. You don't need to touch the ground. Chest up. Nice job, guys. After this, we're going to grab our dumbbells. We're going to start working those rear delts. So the back of the shoulders, which is super awesome to do for posture. Almost there. Five, four, three, two. Oh, okay. So, YWT. So what you're going to do is chair pose, feet close together, back flat, arms into a Y, W, and T. The W might be a little bit challenging for you to get down if you've never done it before. Just think palms facing down, and then you want to make a W with the arms. You want to squeeze your shoulder blades together, bring it by the face, like a face ball. Why? 
Why? <laughs> Keep going. This is why we are using lighter weight today. Heavy is great, but in order to keep form on this one for me, I need to use lighter. Ooh. Back. All right, guys, so next up is frog hops forward. So again, you're gonna have your toes facing out, chest up, and then we're gonna get it. Yes, then we'll go back to the rows. How exciting. Okay, let's go. All the way, and turn. We're strong. We're just getting stronger, that's all. <laughs> we're strong, but we're getting stronger. This is tough, but we're tougher. That's it. Positivity. Whew. Baby. Whew. Keep it up, guys. Whew. Whew. 15 seconds. Oh my goodness. La la la. Five, four, three, two. Oh, okay. Ooh, we have those YWT. So fun. It's tough getting back. It really is. But it's fun. It's a new way to challenge myself. All right, get ready. So, remember, have your neck neutral. You don't want it craned up like this or looking down too far. Keep it up, guys. Back flat. That is such a big thing that I see during boot camps and stuff. Because people tend to go like this. Don't do that. Reset. Push your butt back. Sink down. Back is flat. Protect yourself. Protect your beautiful, wonderful, functional body. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, those are done. Ah, we're not dropping the next. Okay, so what we're gonna do is come into French stance, if you want to. Four punches, turn your palms facing down. One, two, three, four. You're gonna turn. Two weighted squat jumps. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four. Keep your core strong. With every punch, you should feel that rotation. Three, four. Another reason why we're using lighter weights today. Three, four. Keep it up, guys. Two, one, two, four. Yeah, my core feels that in a good way. Back is flat. Even if that means you don't sink down as far, but you want to try to get to at least 90 degrees. Three, two, one. Okay, so down dog, just like in the warm up. Come into a plank, you're gonna press in a down dog, bring it back, touch the opposite side, toe. Press back and touch. Let's go. Press. Core strong, touch. If you need to, you can go with what we did in the warm up and just bring a knee in instead. If you want to make it more challenging, press back, extend, then touch. Press back, extend, touch. It requires a lot more stability. This is the most advanced version then. Then the first one that we did is intermediate. Oh goodness. Woo. Don't let that lower back dip. We're strong. We don't need that. Woo. Okay, guess what's next? You'll never guess. <laughs> it's the punches, okay. So punches, two squat jumps. Pick your weights up safely. Nice flat back. Woo. Fighter stance, you can go the other fighter stance if you want, softball. One, two, four. But it's up to you. Unnecessary. One, two, four. One, and two. One, two. One, and two. Keep up, guys. Okay. One, and two. Yes. 
We're almost there, guys. Stay with me. You already know the next movement. And then stick with whatever, well, I can't talk. Stick with whatever version is best for you. I swear English is my first language. And pretty much only. Okay, get ready. Okay, five, four, three, two, let's go. Press back, reach, and tap in. So this is a nice, controlled movement. Oops, this is not about rushing it. This is about control, taking your time, whew, and getting that form. Always choose form over speed, otherwise you could get injured a lot more likely. Did that make sense? I mean, <laughs> with context, it makes sense. <laughs> you go, guys. Whew. Whew. Okay, so next up, we are back to cardio for ankle taps. So what we're gonna do here is one, two, three, four, then you're gonna jump at a random angle. You can jump back, you can jump to the side, it is up to you. One, two, four. You can jump forward, four, jump backwards, side to side, whatever it is. You can pogo jump, up, ta -da. <laughs> Just make sure you have good ankle stability, so no rolled ankles. If you don't have room, jump in the place. Then I've put in moves 
or like made some combination up because it was in my dream. So that was really cool. We're gonna finish out with core after this. Okay, I guess so next up, most advanced version, one suitcase, one suitcase, both. If that's too much, hands are planted behind you, feet out in front, knee in, knee in, and both. Or just stick with one knee in at a time, okay? So whatever you got, do it. One, two, and up. One, two, and up. Keep it going, guys. Whew. Twenty-five seconds. Yes. Up and up. Oh my goodness. Up, up and up. If your quads tend to get into it, you can always modify. Just make sure you're really using your core to help bring those legs up. Three, two, one. Okay, so next up we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna work our lower back, but we're also gonna work our chest. So two swimmers, lift opposite arm, opposite leg, neck neutral. One, two, hands by the chest, core strong, press up. You can also come to the knees and press up. Let's go. If any of those press ups are too much, you can always stick with just the swimmers. Super awesome and beneficial to strengthen that lower back, which is part of our core. And it'll help prevent lower back pain, especially if you have a desk job. or like a truck driver, or you just have to commute a long time. Almost there. Up. Oh, oh man, this is so fun. Okay, <laughs> we have two moves left, guys. Then we're gonna stretch, do our little mini meditation, and then you'll be off for your day. Yay! <laughs> All right, get ready. Let's go. One, two and both. One, two. If you want to make it pretty, go ahead and point your toes. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> up, up, out of the hair. There you go. And uh, this is where you really just get a marinate in your sweat. You're like, ah, oh, this is nice. <laughs> Shower time, 15 seconds. <sighs> Last 10. Oh goodness. Five, four, three, two, and done. All right guys, last one. Two swimmers and a press up. Oh, and if you're ever like, oh, I just don't feel like it. I feel like this move is benefiting my lower back. It's benefiting me getting stronger in my chest and my shoulders, shaping the shoulders. Think of the benefits. Okay, let's go up, up. I know there are some days where it's like, ah, I'm struggling to even want to work out. And there are days where you're like, I'm just gonna crush it. Either way is okay. Just keep pushing yourself as much as you can in that day. Every day is a little bit different. Every day our body is a little bit different. Just take care of it as much as you can with not only food and movement, but also with thoughts. That is part of your diet too. I'm done. Woo! All right, guys. One more time, this is gonna beep. Excuse this. All right, so we are going to stretch it out. If you wanna repeat this workout, go for it. Skip the warm up. If you wanna to go to another one, my workout's awesome. Uh, please do before you go, if you have to, before the cool down. Uh, like the video and subscribe. And also write a comment. All of those things help out my video and my channel so much. So thank you. All right, let's get uh, cool down. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and come down to the ground. Bring both knees on your chest and make some swirlies. Swirly, whirly. 
and then go the other way. This is really nice to massage that lower back. And then go ahead and drop your left leg, keep your right knee in your chest and pull. Feel free to add some ankle circles here. If this is too intense, you can always bring in that left leg. Go ahead, bring that knee to the outside, opening up the hip. Go ahead and twist the other side and look over to the right. Relax here. Bring it back to center. Left knee in that chest and pull. Relax your right leg down to the ground. Breathe. You can add some ankle circles here. If you so choose to. And bring that knee to the outside, opening up that hip. Let's cross it over. Extend left arm to the left, look over that left shoulder. Go ahead, bring it back to center. Down, we're gonna roll over onto our tummies. Hands by that chest. Elbows in, press up. Mini Cobra, walk the hands forward a little bit. Press those hips to the ground, relax the face, drop the shoulders, breathe. And slowly come down, hands by that chest, press up onto the knees. And from here, Knees under those hips, hands under the shoulders, walk the hands forward. Come into the fingertips if you can, relax down and add a side to side if you want. She feels in the shoulders, in the chest, the lats, all that yumminess. Go ahead, bring it back. All right, a little wrist stretch. We're gonna turn our hands this way. I will give you a mod if you need it, and then lean back. So stretch it out. If you need to, you can always sit up. Just make sure you're on the straight and pull back. The closer your knees are, the easier. So if you wanna make it a little more challenging, back it up. And go ahead, sit into here's pose. Wrist stretches, swirly, swirly, elbows together other way. And let's go ahead, bring that right leg forward, press into it. And from here, we're gonna take that left hands up. You're gonna lean over to the right, and then open up your chest over to the left. So twist a little bit more. I feel this all on my left side. And bring it back. Ooh, that is nice. All right, hands to the inner part of that foot. Walk that knee out a little bit to the right. Press the right knee out with the right hand. Getting that hip a little bit. Go ahead, switch. Ooh, left leg forward, press into it. Right arm up, reach over to the left, and then open up that chest. Ooh, that's a little ballerina. If you guys always want to do more stretches, I do have my stretch video on my channel that you can do. It's full body, so you get everything. Go ahead, bring it back. Hands to the inner part, walk that left foot out, press the left knee out to the left, opening up that hip. Breathe. Go ahead, bring it back. All right, guys, we are going to do a little mini meditation. So go ahead and crisscross applesauce. You guys are going to go through cycles of breath while you listen to me and do the little mini exercise that we do. So hands onto the knees. If you want to lay down, I totally get it. So feel free to lay down. <laughs> Close your eyes. Big inhale. Exhale. Either through the mouth or the nose is going to be up to you. All right, guys, so 
<sighs> getting back into this meditation, this is fun. So a lot of times we hold on to something that we need to just let it go, you know, like that song. <laughs> um, so like for example, one of the things is, for me, it's really a little thing, but when I went on vacation stuff, you know, I gained a little bit of weight when I came back, and I'm like, it's okay. And um, today I got into the mode of, oh my gosh, I have to film, I still haven't lost the weight. And then I got to the point where I'm like, cat, life is so much more than that. And your body is so capable, and it's so awesome, and it's so much more than that number. And I was like, yeah, that's right. This is gonna be fun. And it was. <laughs> this was so great. So is there something that you're holding on about like either your body or about someone, like a little grudge, or something that you did in the past that you wish you didn't? Is there something that you wish that you could just let go and something that just does not serve you anymore and it doesn't benefit your life? It wouldn't help you in any way to just hold on to this thought anymore. So I want you to think about that thought. And I want you to put it in a glass bottle. Now you're gonna cork that bottle. Now you're gonna stand by the sea and you're gonna chuck it. And it's not coming back to you. It is floating away. It is gone. A whale ate it. <laughs> a whale came up and it ate it, and you will never see it again. That is what I'm saying. So <laughs> get rid of that thought. It no longer serves you. You are more than all of that negativity. Life is so much more than all of that, and you don't need to hold on to it anymore. So let's take two more deep breaths. And then this last one, I want you to exhale all the air through your lungs and send away that bottle and that whale. And go ahead, shaky, shaky. Clasp those hands in front. Pull the shoulders in. Very good, hand up. And exhale, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. We are done for today. Awesome job, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me on my first workout back as a 30-year-old. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, I want to thank you guys again so much for not only doing this workout, but also just being here with me and sticking it through with me and the whale. Um, just remember that you are more than all those negative thoughts. You don't need it. If it doesn't serve you, you don't need it in your life anymore. So just let it go. Let it go. And yeah, so if you could, um, before you go though, please do like the video and comment. Both of those things help my video out a lot and YouTube sees it as more activity and therefore it will show it to more people. And also don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. If you want to support my channel even more, I have a link down in my description. It says support my channel. Anything and everything helps. Rather than that, sharing is caring. And I love it when you guys share my stuff. And I love seeing the posts on Instagram, like your stories. I think it's so cool that you guys are like, working out to my videos. Because that's something that I saw like, you know, like back in the day on Facebook that like Julie Michaels would post like people doing their, her workouts and stuff. And she was like a huge idol to me before. So like... Yeah, <laughs> it's cool, it's cool, it's cool seeing that. So thank you guys for everything. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Do all the things and I will see you soon, okay?